hi friends welcome to world in this video we are going to see how to connect different networks with the router uh, using our Cisco packet tracer here uh, for configuring this uh, networks we are using our packet tracer activity file so uh, if you like to practice this packet tracer activity you can download it just go to our blog then you can download this packet tracer activity file and a link to our blog I given in the description and one more thing uh, if you are watching our channel first time uh, or if not yet subscribed consider subscribing also don't forget to enable that bell icon near to our subscribe button uh, so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video right coming back to our activity we will go through the objectives in part 1 configure PCs okay in part 2 configure R1 then in part 3 test and verify network connectivity here we can see our topology uh, in the activity also we can see our addressing table better I will expand it here we can see all devices IP address submit to mask and a default gateway Coming to part 1, configure PCs. Step 1, assign IP address to PCs. Assign IP address, submit to mask and default gateway for all the PCs such as uh, PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4, PC5 and PC6 according to the addressing table. Okay, total is 6 PCs. Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, those PCs. We will get the IP address of PC1. Here we can see that. We will copy it. Here we can see the submit to mask and the default gateway. Coming to PC1. Desktop, IP configuration. And here we will give the IP address. Here is that. Submit to mask and the default gateway. Here is the IP address of PC2 submit to mask and the default gateway coming to pc2 desktop ip configuration here we will give the ip address here is a submit to mask coming to the default gateway next is pc3 here we can see the ip address submit to mask and the default gateway Coming to PC3, desktop, IP configuration, IP address, submit to mask, and the default gateway. Now we will go to PC4. Here is the IP address, PC4, IP address, submit to mask, and the default gateway. Now we will go to PC5. Here is the IP address. Submit to mask and the default gateway. Coming to PC5. We will assign the IP address. Submit to mask and the default gateway. Coming to the last PC. PC6. IP address. Submit to mask and the default gateway. Yes, so we just assigned IP address for all the PCs as per our addressing table. And once you complete all the uh, configuration of this IP address, the completion status should be a 66 percentage. Here we can verify that it's correct. Now it's time to move to part 2. Configure R1. Step 1. Configure addressing for G0 slash 0, G0 slash 1, G0 slash 2 interfaces according to the addressing table. Coming to addressing table, uh, here we can see the IP address submit to mask for these interfaces uh, for the device R1. First of all, we will assign IP address for this interface 
gigabit ethernet zero slash zero here we can see the ip address submit to mask we will go to this router r1 cli press return to get started enable configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero and here we will set the ip address here is that then the submit to mask to 55.0.0.0 then we will give no shutdown command now we will configure a gigabit ethernet zero slash one here we can see the ip address and submit to mask We will exit and we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one then we will set the ip address here is that then the submit to mask 255.255.0.0 .255 then we will give no shutdown command and finally we will assign ip address for the interface gigabit ethernet zero slash two here we can see the IP address and submit to mask. We will exit and we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2. We will set the IP address. Here is that. Submit to mask 255.255.255.0. No shutdown. Coming to our topology, here we can see all these interfaces are up G0 slash 0, 0 slash 1, and 0 slash 2. So, once you complete all these uh, uh, interface configuration, our completion status should be 100%. Here we can verify that it's 100%. Now we will go to step 2 verify the configuration using appropriate show commands on R1. We can do that. We will go to our router R1. We will go to privileged exit mode. We can press Ctrl Z. And here we will give the show command show running config. And we can see all the interfaces. Here we can see interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0, its IP address, submit to mask, g0 slash 1, g0 slash 2, everything okay. Also we can verify using show IP interface brief. Here we can see the status of each interfaces here we can see the interface its ip address okay yes method manual and here we can see the status it's up also we can see the protocol so it's up i will zoom out so that it will be more clear here we can see that Finally, we will come to part 3, test and verify network connectivity. Step 1, ping from PCs to all other devices. Switch IP address is available in the above addressing table. Yes, so here we can see uh, switch uh, virtual LAN IP address given. Here we already configured IP address for these switches S1, S2 and S3. Now we will test the connectivity coming to PC1 command prompt uh, we will ping to pc2 ping uh, 10.1.1.11 it's working now we will ping to pc4 172.168.1.1 we are getting the replies now we will ping to PC6 192.168.1.11 It's working 
now we will try to ping to uh, all the default gateways uh, on this Aurora R1 we will ping from this PC one uh, we can uh, ping from any PC should work okay so we will uh, take this PC one you will give a ping 10.1.1.1 we are getting the replies now we will uh, ping to a uh, 172.31.1.1 it's working then uh, ping to g0 slash 2 it's 192.168.1.1 it's working now we will try to uh, ping to all the switches s1 s2 and s3 first of all we will ping to uh, s1 correct It's a ten dot one dot one dot two fifty four. Here we are getting the replies. Coming to S two. One seventy two dot thirty one dot one dot two fifty four. It's working, and finally, S three. It's one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two fifty four. It's working. Well, in this video we have seen how to connect different networks with a roller using our Cisco Packet Tracer activity file. So friends, if you like to download this Packet Tracer activity file, you can download it. Just go to our blog, link I given in the description. And we have many number of Packet Tracer activity files in future. So stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.